I am, I don't know what the f I'm doing. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. I am starting a YouTube show apparently. Hey, I'm Rebecca Lobie. Is this on? Are we starting? Oh my God, okay. Today is my birthday and I always try and start something new on my birthday. We might have met. Um, I'm touring singer-songwriter. I first tour was in 2004, long time ago. I've been making a living as a full-time musician for 10 years. I've played like, I don't know, a thousand shows, more, like, uh, a bunch of gigs. Everywhere I go, I've met really incredible people and you might be one of them. You may have seen me on The Voice. I was on the first season of The Voice, Team Adam. You might have just found me because you were looking on YouTube for the Floby, that vacuum cleaner suck cut thing from the 70s. I'm not related to the inventors of the Floby. My plan here is to start making videos from here in the music room at my house about my life as a touring songwriter and what it's like making a living in art. Does making a living off of art make any sense? I don't know the answers to all of these questions. My serious answer to the why are you choosing to no longer neglect your YouTube channel question is that I think it sounds fun and I think it sounds like a nice way to connect with people that I might not be meeting right now. I mean, well, especially not right now. Ideally, I'd like to help people who might want to launch their own music career or might be working on it and might be stuck on one particular problem. So I just want to make something that puts some information here on my YouTube channel. Could it be that we're five months into a global pandemic and I am looking for something to do that makes me feel excited and gives me purpose so that I'm not tempted to leave my house? Totally. That is totally possibly what's happening. Maybe this will just be something I do for a little while. Maybe I'm gonna love it and do it forever. I don't know, but it's what I wanna do right now. So here I am. <laughs> I have built my adult life and my career on doing what I wanna do right now. So this is just the next step in that process. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't admit this on the internet, but I'm not an expert. I'm just not. Luckily, I have a lot of amazing friends who are super interesting people and who have had a lot of crazy experiences and we're gonna get to talk to them week after week. Uh, some things I'll talk about all by myself, some things I'll bring in a panel to discuss with me and uh, you might see some familiar faces. I wanted to use these headphones because I feel like these are very podcasty, and that's it really helps me get in the, <clears throat> the space, you know? So I, I made lots of money for like a couple months and then the good times were over. And then um, I had to book myself. <laughs> Life is this long, disastrous, chaotic cavalcade of a mess. There's, there's no manual for this. The best thing you can do is, is dive in, but make sure you check in with people who are already swimming in the pool. It's art, right? And it's craft and it's, um, so there's a little bit of magic involved and if it doesn't happen, nobody should feel bad. It's about the journey and the art and the community. Um, there are a lot easier ways yeah. to make a shitty living. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of times women are taught, like if you speak your needs too loudly, someone's going to hurt you. Nobody's done that to me, but like I still am afraid of it. But that makes it hard. Like when I was touring alone, I'd have a really hard time going and getting my money at the end of the night. The rules that I, there are sort of rules in play, more or less, when you are supporting someone in their music and things to kind of focus on and, and watch for. And then when I do my own thing, the rules are out the window. So I'm gonna share a bunch of behind the scenes information about how all of this works. Why haven't I had a real job in 10 years? I don't know, I've been asking myself that same question, sometimes more loudly than others. But along the way, I've learned some cool stuff and I've met some amazing people. So things we're gonna talk about are, what's it really like to be on tour? How to budget as a musician when your income and your expenses change every month? Okay, when we're allowed to travel again, I'm gonna share some major travel hacks that I've picked up and that friends have shared with me, just tips that make road life easier. And trust me, no one knows how to make road life easier than a bunch of touring singer-songwriters. How do you launch a Patreon page? Writer's block, what to do? I have writer's block most of the time. Running a small business, what it's all like. Basically whatever I'm interested in talking about in a given week. One little topic at a time for as long as we can keep this going. I'm gonna have a companion YouTube playlist of songs by folks who are frequent guests on the show that I recommend you check out. You can find that in the comments. While you're down there, please do me a favor. Remember, it is my birthday. <laughs> Please click like, comment. If you wanna see more things that I make, subscribe. I'd love to get you on board. Thank you so much for uh, this time and I hope to see you again next week. Thanks. Deep breaths. Be beach.
chill, Loby. Be chill. Not a huge deal. Got chocolate in my teeth. Everyone always says their first YouTube videos are terrible, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna use that. That's dumb. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. How's this going so far? Am I doing okay? I'm gonna say yes. Yes, you're doing great, Becca. Keep going. You're doing great, Becca. Keep going. Okay, Becca, thank you. Smell. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, you guys can't smell.